Well, this weekend, the Funky Ferndale Art Fair entering its 15th year. And this year, there's more talented artists than ever before, showcasing all sorts of art pieces. And this morning, I'm here with President of Integrity Shows, organizing that Funky Ferndale Art Fair. Mark Loeb, thanks so much for joining well, us. thank you. Good to see you, and mm -hmm. this is bigger than ever, but 15 years, I mean, this is a staple in the community. Yes, when we started years ago, there wasn't any such thing as a funky art fair. Everything was kind of more of the traditional art. So this is an art fair for people who love Ferndale, who like the edgier stores and restaurants, and we just try to meet that sensibility in the artist. Now this is a juried art fair, so not just anyone can join. Right, we have uh, probably about 40% of the people that apply get into the wow. show. Oh, and mm -hmm. what are the qualifications? What do you look for? Well, it's got to be great art. That's number one. That's more important than anything else. But beyond that, it also has to have that edge to it. It's uh, not the traditional images, which are at other art fairs or in the museums, but things that invite conversation, uh, they don't sit quietly on the wall. They invite you to talk about them. And you brought some of these conversation pieces with you. Let's start right over here. This is some paper mache. So tell me what this is. Well, it's kind of cool, and I love this setting it next to that uh, metal robot there. Absolutely. It makes for an adorable couple, though they didn't uh, get engaged on the Emmys. Oh, not yet, at least. <laughs> Maybe at the Funky Ferndale Art Fair. It could happen. There's still time, gentlemen. Right, so there's, uh, you know, assemblages are kind of a bigger thing nowadays, yeah. and a lot of people are doing them, but they're not necessarily do them as well. It really is fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. This really caught my eye. Right, that's a piece of glass, and if it was backlit, you would see how brilliant it is. It's stained uh, glass. Yeah, you, uh, so if you're running out of space on your walls, great, put that in front of your window. I love that. That's fantastic. <laughs> a little more traditional here. Right, this is by uh, Donald Calloway, a famous uh, Detroit artist. And, uh, it's beautiful. He does a lot of assemblages also, but this, uh, you know, he's also a painter. And it looks like we have a bowl pottery, always my favorite at right. the art fairs. Uh, yeah, that does look like pottery, but it's actually glass, surprisingly. <gasps> no way! And oh, that's beautiful. You know, the technique for doing that is very sophisticated and oh, kind I of a cool imagine. thing. Yeah. That's gorgeous and it has mm -hmm. that real shine because it is right. glass. And here it looks like we have some metal art. Right. Well, what uh, Lana did with this piece is she took a photograph and then she put it on steel and that gives it a much more vibrant yeah, feel. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. That's a real trend right now, isn't it? Everyone yeah, it wants is. that, that more rustic look and mm -hmm. then some metal here as well. Right. That's uh, Gino Torelli. He does uh, work with railroad spikes, creates all sorts of different uh, oh, types is that of those are railroad spikes. Now yep. that is cool. I love yep. that. And you brought some wearable art as well. Right. This whole setting here, we've got uh, Beth's uh, hat and uh, These are always folk. my favorite things to find at art fairs. Yes. Michigan and people know how to keep us warm. And it's the right time of year. We're going to be down in the 70s, thank exactly. God, and Saturday and Sunday. So this yes. is perfect. Perfect for, weather for yep. it. And to pick this up, the And then jewelry. we have three different jewelers that are represented here. There's about 20 of them. They'll be at the show. So you can find the fashion that's just as unique as you are. I absolutely love that. Tell me mm -hmm. when it's all happening. Well, we are on Friday from 3 to 7, Saturday from 10 to 7, and then Sunday is 11 to 6. Nine Mile and Woodward in Ferndale. We're so excited, and yeah, you should have some nice weather for that. So we're certainly looking forward to the Funky Ferndale Art Show. Chris Edwards, we need to keep the rain away so yes, everyone please. can see all of these beautiful art pieces. I think things are going to work out very well for Funky Ferndale this coming weekend.